from setting boundaries to avoid being taken advantage of to learning how to trust again after being betrayed. It is Therapy Thursday. Dr. Brenda Lloyd-Jones from the University of Oklahoma is here with her expert advice to answer your questions. Dr. Brenda, thanks for being here. Hi, Jonathan. How are you today? I am good. Uh, we have two viewer questions today, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first question today comes from Molly, and she says, I feel like my friends in my job take advantage of me. I will often work more hours, and I watch my friends' kids a lot. How can I create some better boundaries? It's a good question. It is a great question. Let's start with defining boundaries because that's another key word and people just throw it around and not really know what it is. And really it's simply setting limits and rules for yourself with others, whether that's at work, at home, or in other places and spaces. And uh, it really entails two basic steps uh, quickly. It, number one, you want to know your desires and your needs. And uh, for example, Molly wants to reduce or eliminate extra work and time there. So she's concerned about her time. Uh, she's concerned about spending time babysitting. Uh, and the next step is to communicate uh, your wants and your desires. So Molly can simply say to her manager, uh, going forward, uh, I won't be staying late. However, I will work on the projects during my normal working hours. And she'll need to repeat her boundaries because this is new behavior for her and for those who interact with her. Uh, I, I think what uh, I would like to do is recommend a resource. I have a great book um, and it's called Set Boundaries, Find Peace. Set and boundaries, set find peace. boundaries, find peace. And it's by Nedra Glover. Uh, it's on the New York Best Times list. It's a good one. Okay. All right. That's a great book. Um, our question, next question comes from Darius. And he says, I've been cheated on in the past, which has hindered my ability to trust in romantic relationships. How can I learn to trust again? Oh, that's a good one. You know, uh, many people experience that. So the first thing we want to let him know, he's not alone. Uh, and uh, it is a traumatic event when that happens because it's a betrayal uh, in many ways. What uh, he certainly can do is begin by understanding that his feelings are valid, uh, that uh, he will feel upset. He will feel feel frustrated and to talk about his triggers with close friends and family members. He also may want to join a therapy group to process his pain uh, with others who have gone through something similar. And then uh, finally, when uh, dating, um, be honest, open and transparent about why he may be perceived as being distant or being guarded. Uh, his dates may appreciate his honesty, openness, and transparency. Uh, he, the bottom line is, or the heart of the matter, is that with good counseling and time, he will gain confidence and know who to trust and how to uh, interact and certainly um, be romantic again. Yeah, great advice. Yeah. I like that. All right. Dr. Brenda, thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure, Jonathan. Yeah. If you have a question that you would like for us to consider for next week, just send us an email to therapythursday at griffin.news.